Uh, my name's David Dixon and I come from Nelson, New Zealand. And my daughter Kate and her husband Shane use the pink kit. And I'd like to tell you a few things about it from my perspective, as a granddad, I suppose. Well, I'll go back to my own experiences of childbirth, which, if I think about it, were pretty much rubbish. My wife and I were hustled into the labour ward. Within about an hour or two, somebody decided that probably better have a caesarean. And so that's what happened. The treatment we both got was, I thought, shabby. Uh, we were sort of like an inconvenience, idiots if you like, to be directed to do this and that because someone sort of knew better. And I figure we were just like a number on the production line. It wasn't satisfactory. For the birth of our second child, it was more or less the same deal. Um, you just felt that you were being processed, that really your interests weren't being looked after and certainly we were just being shuffled along some sort of imaginary production line. Well, that's the way I thought it. So 20 odd years later, when it was my daughter's turn to have a child, there's no way that we wanted her to go through the same sort of stuff. So into the pink kit, and the kids loved it. That's not to say everything went uh, to plan on the day. To start with, at least, it didn't. But at some stage during the process, when the midwife, as far as I could see, had given up, and it was on to the doctors talking about caesareas again, the pink kit kicked in. And I would say about half an hour after that, an 11 pounds, 7 ounce baby was born, and it came peacefully into the world. No cuts, no tears, no forceps, no caesareans. Just good technique, basically. The thing is, from my perspective, is that parents and grandparents have got a contribution to make when it comes to the young ones. And I think they should know about the existence of the pink kit. It's a real option for them to perhaps have somebody slightly older in the family say something about it or introduce it to them. That's my thoughts. Mm -hmm.